Hello, I'm Chris Price with the briefing from The Telegraph. It's Friday, May the 14th, and the June 21st release of lockdown is under threat. Boris Johnson said Britain will face some hard choices. That's if the Indian variant of coronavirus is significantly more transmissible than the Kent variant. The Prime Minister said at a Downing Street press conference that the mutation could make it more difficult to go through with the June 21st release of lockdown. Professor Chris Whitty said there's no doubt the Indian variant is more transmissible. To battle this, Mr Johnson announced an acceleration of second doses of the vaccine among over 50s and those clinically vulnerable. They'll now get a second jab just eight weeks after their first dose. You can read a Q&A on the Indian variant and see a map of the hotspots in the UK. Meanwhile, you'll be able to go on holiday to Portugal from Monday after the country lifted its travel ban. There had been speculation that it might maintain its ban on non-essential travel. That's after the country extended its national state of calamity. You can read the latest travel advice. Israeli artilleries continue to pound northern Gaza today. That's in an attempt to destroy a network of militant tunnels inside the territory. Earlier today, the Israeli military retracted a statement that it had begun a ground assault on the besieged Palestinian enclave. We've got some good analysis of what's happening for you. Michael Stevens looks at how the conflict is a must-win for Benjamin Netanyahu, but outlines how Hamas is no longer a pushover. And Roland Oliphant examines how it's handed the Israeli Prime Minister a political lifeline. And when Jamie Carragher retired as a Liverpool player, he found his morning routine had been deeply engraved, so much so he'd sometimes find himself heading towards his old training ground as if he was still working there. But when Melwood became available, he couldn't resist a return to his spiritual home with fellow former Reds legend Robbie Fowler. You can read why the pair are buying Liverpool's old training ground. There's just time to mention a couple more good pieces with a look at mental illness Abigail Butcher writes how she was let down so many times by the NHS she nearly died. And consumer champion Sally Hamilton tells how one reader put the wrong fuel in their Audi and has found their insurer couldn't cough, wouldn't cough up the £15,500 to fix it. That's it. You're up to date. Danny will have your next briefing on Monday morning.